Hi, this is Shane and welcome back to another episode of Omnifactory. And um, last week we got a couple more machines done, which was good. And then in my notes for this week I wrote autoclave. And I was trying to work out why did we want the autoclave, but we need it in order to make... No, we need to make the charger before we can make the autoclave. Well, we can make the autoclave, but it's not going to... Um, it's not going to show up and I kept thinking it was the other way around so I have everything for the autoclave and not for the charging quartz but we could do that now I did I was looking for quartz you can buy it with omni pennies and I thought well let me just get some and then I can scan the block because you can do a block scanning module scan the block so I can go and look for it in the world I couldn't find it anywhere so I just ended up buying a stack and a half but we need, uh, let me see the charger. But we need the charger for, um, we need the quartz to make quartz plates. So we need Certis Quartz Plate and Certis Quartz Dust in the compressor to get Certis Quartz Dust, Pulverization, Electrolyzer, Packer, Pulverizer. What do we need to make a pulverizer? Or can we get it in the macerator? And is the pulverizer a thing? Like a basic pulverizer? Pulveri. And did we make those? A universe? Alright, we can't do that yet. Yeah, I can't do that yet. But can we put it in the macerator? And where did I put... Okay, let's put these... Uh, every time I see this image of dust, I keep thinking it's real dust. Let's put one in, see what happens. Did it... Oh, is, is Yes, it is working. It's working slowly. Okay, so we should get Certis Quartz dust from this. So then we can put that in the compressor. Here's hoping. We get crushed surface quartz. Can we make dust from that? Um, crushed surface quartz. Uh, pulverizer. The pulverizer would have been better. Crushed surface quartz. If I press R for it, no, right click for recipes. All right, we can hit it with a hammer and get an impure pile of quartz dust. We can put it through the pulverizer and get other stuff. Thermal centrifuge. Can we not do anything else with it? Can we use it to turn it into? No. All right. Can we put it in a... How do we make the pul... No, did we just look at... We just looked at the pulverizer and it's out of our reach at the moment. I have a bowl. Can I just put it in the bowl? No. What do we have? We have the compressor. We have the alloy smelter. The macerator. Wire mill. And in here we have fluid solidifier and basic electrolyzer. Okay, basic electrolyzer did come up in the list. Certus. All right, we want crushed, we want Certus quartz dust. Um, centrifuged quartz, Certus quartz. Polarization centrifuge electrolyzer 
quartz sand. How do you get quartz sand? Or the packer? Everything's come... Quartz? Can we buy quartz sand? Uh, Alright, we're jump. We're going down holes. That I don't really... Oh. All right, am I making this over complicated? That's the question. All right, Certus plate. We want the plate. You get, you get that from the compactor. And Certus quartz you can get from smelting the ore. Okay. All right, if we smelt the ore, we get Certus Quartz, which is fine. It's not looking like normal Certus Quartz. All right, so the compactor is probably something we'd have. Can we make the comp machine frame, stainless steel plate? Man it all right, that's out of our reach right now as well. Okay, we're gonna have to smelt the Certus quartz and then put it in the compressor to get the plate. So how many plates do we need? We need two plates. So if we smelt two Certus quartz see I knew I was making it overly complicated. Had to take a step back. Why are we does that not smelt? Maybe these don't smell. Okay, we've got those two. Oh, it does all double. It does, right? Put in two. We get out four. Okay. And I thought that I thought that the um the furnace didn't all double. Well, that's awesome then. Okay, so we want two plates. Uh, compressor. Are you working? No. All right, how did it say that this thing worked? We want the plate. Oh, the compactor. And then the compactor. Yeah, the compactor we can't do. All right, if we put Certus Quartz in the macerator, do we get dust? Yes, we do. Okay, we want to. Then we put the dust in the compressor and we get the plates. So yeah, I knew I was making it overly complicated. All right, so we've got two plates. And what were the other, oh, why did I come out of there? All right, so for the charger, we need dark steel plates. Dark steel is dark steel ingot, steel and obsidian, or steel and void crystal. Well, we don't have access to a Atomic Reconstructor. But do I have any dark steel... Do I have any dark steel ingots? Did I come across any? I don't think I have. I don't think I have. I do have steel. And obsidian. Down here. So we have six. So how many plates do we need? One, two, three, four, five. Three, four, five, right. So we need the alloy smelter. We need five of those, five of those. That should make dark steel. Then we can put it in the compressor and make dark steel plates. 
and that's what we need to make the charger do we have cable oh we could put the charger on top here it's fine all right that's going slowly what's this i have in my hand electrolyzer right we don't need that anymore and machine hull let's put this back over here no because we'll we'll need it in a minute it's fine And look at, oh, there's our Certis Court. No, there's one. Oh, two. That is very, very grey. It's hard. It, if you're colour blind, why is that not showing up? Alright, that's two. That's three. No, that's steel. Four. Yeah, that's right. Okay, so that's done. That's done. Put that in. Now we have a charger. Fluix production. Okay. But can we put... No, we can't put you on there. Okay. So now we need normal cables to put you on there. You know what? I didn't even look to see if it was, if it was charging. I doubt though. I know because you need an energy acceptor. All right, let's take that off. But we need it to make. All right, we got Omni pennies. Great, but we need it to make the autoclave. Okay, Certus quartz, Certus quartz crystals are made in the autoclave. So that's why we need the autoclave. But I believe we have everything for that. Auto. Basic. And that's that. I wish you got something other than auto om omni pennies. Alright, so the autoclave is there. You put in dust and you get in. Alright, so it says Certis quartz, Certis quartz seeds are made in the autoclave. Uh, claim. Did that? Oh, that did open up something. What's this? Energy acceptor. Okay, Fluix is made the normal way. Just check JEI for more information if you're not familiar. The energy acceptor turns RF power into something that applied energetics can use. This power transmitted along all ME cables and ME conduits as well as through quartz cable. I should say this power is transmitted. Quartz cable doesn't transmit information or count as a network connection, however. Okay. Alright, so it said that we need to make seeds. Certis quartz crystals are made here. How do you make certis quartz crystals? Certus quartz crystals. Alright, we've got normal certus quartz crystals in the autoclave. You need water and certus quartz, and that gives you a crystal. Alright. So the autoclave, that, okay. Click with an empty fluid container. Alright, so do we have, we can make another, inf can we hook it up to the infinite water source? It's going to look ugly though. If we can bring up, um, we should be able to do that, infinite water source. So we need some kind of pipe. Alright, what kind of... Uh, there's fluid ducts. Alright, if I just type duct. D-U-C-T. No, it doesn't have those. There's um, fluid ducts and item ducts and stuff. That is... I can't remember which mod. 
thermal expansion, I think. We have the uh, thermal innovation, thermal expansion. It's take a. Is it not thermal expansion? I thought it was. All right, so we need some kind of pipe. Uh, steel pipes. Logist logistics pipes. Basic logistics pipe. Routes items around the network. Put specific types of items into chests. Okay. Never heard of this before. Unrooted transport pipe and what? And FPGA. Okay. It's interesting we can't use it. Not yet. Logistics pipes guidebook. Conduit binder. Well, so we need to get into... Oh, we got um we've got IE. Can we use Ender IO? Oh no, but we need Oh, this is annoying. Cuz we have Ender IO. That's all down here. Oh god. Item conduits, it's locked. We have to do this stuff. All right, we're, I'm kind of stuck. I'm not sure which direction to go because whatever direction we go, it's, it's a lot of preparation and resources and stuff. Cause obviously up here, we can't do that yet. Ender IO would be our next logical direction. All right, let's, let, I think I'm getting ahead of myself. I'm getting a bit overwhelmed. Let's find a bucket. Let's fill up the autoclave. Do I have buckets in here? I must, oh, I've got a bucket of water. I might need to make And All right, how did we make the aqueous Infinite water source. How did we make that? I can't remember. It had to be early game. In no, not pipe. Infinite finite. Uh, infinite water source. Two buckets and raw iron plates. All right, we can do that. And then I can just put an infinite water source on top. I'm guessing. Uh, raw iron. Is that raw iron? It looks like it. Yes. How many raw iron plates? I can't remember. My brain. Uh, six. We've got two, three, four, five, six. Um... And we need another bucket of water. We must have another bucket somewhere. Because we made one in the first place. So there is a bucket. There you go. I've got diamond horse armor in there. Can I put that in the... Um... And I've got gold horse armor. I wonder if I can put those in the macerator. I can't remember if I tried or not. Um, it's gone in, but I've not seen the energy go down. Is it working? I don't think so. What about the diamond? No, the energy's not fluctuating. I don't. I think it can go in. Maybe it needs to be more. Um, more. It needs to be more. More than basic. And um, right. Oh, water from little tiles. I don't even know what little tiles are. Did we take out? Yes, we did. 
infinite water source. All right, can we just put this on top? Yes, we can. That is quite awesome. Right, so we need Certus Dust. Put that in the macerator. And then put this in the autoclave. And then we should get Certus Crystals. No! Okay, so and it's like a rehydrator. All right, that's not what I thought was going to happen. Did I read it wrong? All right, so Certus Quartz Crystal, Autoclave, Water and Certus Quartz gives you a crystal. Oh, I just realised what I've done. Just realised what I did. Certus Quartz, not the dust. Oh, good grief. Yeah, I, never mind. <laughs> We'll forget that this happened, yeah? We're just... We're, we're, we're not going to talk about it. Alright, so we have the crystals. To make them charged, we need... Alright, so we need to make the energy acceptor. Because I think the energy acceptor will probably hook onto the conductive iron cables. And then that's when we can get it to work. Alright, so... Energy accept. Fluix plate. So we need fluix crystals. Charge certus quartz. So how do we get charged certus quartz if we can't put the charger on the network? What am I missing? Ah, energetic infuser, machine frame, no we couldn't get the machine frame could we, that was the problem, because, oh no, yeah, because the thermal device casing is mana and steel, mana infused ingot, And we need, yeah, mana dust. Yeah, lots of things that we can't get right now. We probably could, but not really. Okay. So we're, I'm going to have to think about All right, let's have a look. It says it's made in the normal way. And that's dropping stuff in a puddle. Am I reading it wrong? Uh, Fluix. Because that is entirely possible. One charge Certus Quartz, one Nether Quartz, and Redstone. All right, so we need some kind of... Oh, if we put the charger on top here, no, you still need the energy acceptor. Whatever happens, you need the energy acceptor. We can't make the energy acceptor unless we have charged Certus Quartz. And you can't charge it any other way from, apart from it being in the charger. Or we could use the energetic infuser. 
but Lead gear. The, it's the machine frame that's help that's holding us back, so we can't use that. Okay, can we? Oh, there might be a Greg Tech version. All right, charged. No. Right, this is another quartz, black, black quartz, uh, crushed certus quartz. I am. You, there is no Greg Tech version by the looks of things. Yeah, there is no Greg Tech version. All right, so we have, um, yeah, we need the energy acceptor, I think. Unless, all right, no, we need the energy acceptor because the charger is not going to work without it. I really don't know what to do because we need to get into that. We need to do, we need to do that. There must be some way to get around it. There has to be some way around it. Um, what's quartz cable? Uh, quartz cable facade. Does quartz cable not exist? We just got facades. Okay, so you they don't actually have cable, quartz cable in here anyway. Right, applied. These were cable facades. All right, cable anchor, ME covered cable. Because you need Fluix cables in order to do, you, you, not Fluix cables, you need Fluix, Fluix um, gems to do anything in AE2. So glass cable, you need ME glass cable, you need Fluix dust. Fluix crystal. Those are the recipes. Okay. Fluix seed. Again, it comes back to Fluix dust, which comes back to Fluix crystal. Yeah, it all comes back to. Okay, I'm going to end it here because we've done those two things, but I don't know how I'm going to get past that bit. So I'm going to have to do a little bit of, well, not a little bit, I'm going to have to do a lot of research to see if I can work out how we get any further. And crystal growth chamber. Because all of this is early game, which means I shouldn't have to go onto any other tab. Maybe we should start. Well, 
Because the thing is, once we get into um, applied energistics, that means we can have a storage system. And that would make everything else so much easier. Because once you have everything in one place, then um, it makes your life so much easier. Um, maybe if we make... No, because it's still going to be, you need the energy acceptor to charge the charger. Okay, I'm going to leave it here because it's the end of the episode anyway. And I'm going to have to look and see what I can do. So next week, hopefully, we can get in. We should be able to get in. Once we get past that, we should be able to get into Applied Energistics too. So then we can have a centralised storage system. And then, like I said, it makes the rest of the pack so much easier because then you're not going around and looking for things and having this, you know, wall of storage. Which is fine when you've got one or two things, but not when you've got, you know, a shed load of things. So, yeah, we've hit a little bit of a brick wall, but I will research it. Well, I'll get back to you guys and I'll let you know what we are doing because... There must be a way to get round it. I don't know if I'm... I don't know if it's something that I don't know or if it's something I'm overlooking. Any of those are a possibility. So, um, so yeah, so I'll have to do a bit of research and then next week we can get back on with it. So thanks very much for watching. Please like, comment and subscribe. It really helps to grow my channel and I will see you guys in the next episode. Okay, thanks for watching. Bye-bye.